Hello all, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I will show you how to push the particular file from computer to Android emulator and how to pull back the same file from Android emulator to computer. So for that, you need to use the ADB. So first of all, I'm just writing the command that is ADB devices. It will give me the list of the device which is currently running. So right now, my this emulator that is Genymotion Nexus 5 is currently running on. Now, you just need to look at the file that you need to push into the device. So my file is available in the download folder. So here in downloads, there is my file that is student underscore registration dot PNG. This file I want to push into my emulator. So this particular file is available in my download folder. So I'm just writing here one command that is adb push. Now you need to provide the source path where your file is currently available. So this my file is available in the download folder. So I'm writing here downloads and the name of the file that is student underscore registration dot png. Now where you want to push into the Android emulator. So I want to push this in my Android emulator SD card and here you can write download. So here in SD card download, I want to push the file. You can just press enter and see here you will get the message one file post. How can I cross verify that the file is post or not? So there are two different ways. The first you can write here adb cell and you can switch to that particular directory that is a cd sd card and the folder is download and here you can write ls command and you will be able to see that the file is posed in my android emulator the second way is you can just move to your android emulator and you can click on files here in a files you will be able to see that in a download folder here my file is a post that is a student underscore registration dot png. Now I want to pull back this particular file from Android emulator to my computer. So here in my computer in D drive there is one folder PCS and here PCS folder is empty. Now here I want to pull back the file from my Android emulator to computer. So for this, you can just write over here, that is adb pull. Now where is your file? My file is available in SD card download. And what is the name of the file? The name of the file is a student underscore registration dot png. Now where you want? I want this in a D drive PCS. It means that my source path will be the path where my PNG file is available in my emulator. And this is my destination where I want this file. You can just press enter. And you will be able to see that the file is pulled over here. That is student underscore registration. So this is the way you can pull the file and you can push the file. Make sure that ADB device is used to get the list of the emulator which is running. ADB post is used to push the file from computer to emulator. So first you need to provide the path of the computer and the second you need to provide the path of the emulator. Pull command is used to get back the file from emulator to computer. And suppose if your file system is in a read only mode and if it is not in a writable mode, then you can issue the command ADB remount, which is used to enable the system partition in a writable mode. So you can write over here adb remount and you will get the message like this that remount is succeeded. If you issue the command remount then your system partition will be in a writable mode. So this is the way you can push the file from computer to emulator and you can pull the file from emulator to computer. So that's it from my side. If you like this video then please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.